Welcome back to Five Step. Today we're looking at the pedal assembly and talking about a couple of bushings on this assembly. Uh, so if you have any pedals that uh, feel like they're grinding or they're squeaking whenever you push your brake or your clutch, it could be due to two bush bushings that have uh, broken down, dry rotted, come apart, or something's gotten rusty in the shaft here. Uh, so you see one bushing, which is right in here. If I can get it in focus. There it is. One bushing in there, and the other bushing right in there. So I wanted to show this to you, uh, how to replace those out of the car, just so you can see everything that's going on. I'm not sure why it's getting out of focus again. There we go. Uh, just so you can see how this, this works, you've got to remove uh, your switch here, your uh, switch over here. So uh, I'm going to show you all this stuff uh, starting right now. Okay, we're going to start off with this switch. This is the neutral safety switch. This ensures that your clutch is pushed all the way in before it allows your car to start. So we're going to remove this because we have to remove the pedal and it's attached to the pedal. Uh, so first you can take this pin out. And then we'll take this nut off. Comes off really easy, very simple. And then the switch slides straight off, just like that. Now we can go to the other side. Before we take this pedal loose, we'll go to the other side and work on the clutch clock. Alright, so now we're on the other side. We've got our quadrant here. You're probably going to need to release your clutch cable at the clutch so you can get enough slack on it to remove it from the quadrant. Um, I'll have that issue here on my stand. Uh, so once that's released, I'm going to remove the two pins holding on the quadrant. And slide that off. And now we're going to remove this switch. Is, uh, no, actually, we don't even need to remove this switch. But I'm going to remove it so I can show you how to, how to install it and adjust it. So let's just go ahead and take this off. Now this switch, as soon as the, normally the clutch is in this position, as soon as you start to press the clutch, it releases the cruise control. So there's your cruise control uh, relay there, or switch rather turns off your cruise control when you press the clutch. All right, so now I've got a sweep, uh, free swinging clutch pedal. So let's move back to the other side. All right, so disregard this hose. This is the vacuum hose. Uh, for a different switch under here, when you press the brake, it, it uh, disconnects the cruise control. It turns, it turns off the cruise control, rather. So you, this will be up, uh, up here going to the firewall. Uh, let's see here. So now we need to remove this nut. Probably be able to get a socket uh, on this uh, underneath the dash if you don't have your pedal assembly out. The wrench might be a little tough because of the way this pedal kicks out here and you won't have room to get on it above. So a socket, a regular socket is your best bet. This is an 18 millimeter. I'm not using a socket because I don't want to mar up the paint on this beautifully painted pedal. So once you have that nut off, you should be able to just kind of uh, be able to kind of rack this pedal back and forth and pull out on it and it'll pop right off just like so. And now you can finally access that first pushing. Feel there it was kind of. I don't know if you can see this. Kind of rusty inside there. It's got some grit, so uh, it feels kind of dry. So 
if these be replaced. Move this camera around just a little bit. So I'm gonna get just the right angle here. Uh, so now I can um, pull up on this and slide this out all the way to this side. So I can feel on here, it's very, you can probably hear it. So that grit in there, dirt, so that's not going to be good. And that'll wear on these plastic bushings too. And you can feel how that is, you can hear how that is. It feels worse than it sounds. So we're going to, uh, we're going to want to clean this up. Just use a little bit of uh, maybe white lithium. I wouldn't use any regular grease on there because I don't know how that's going to uh, react with plastic. So I would just use like a white lithium in here after you get this clean. And then uh, you can take a little rag or something and run through uh, the hole, the shaft, uh, where this goes. So uh, I'm going to clean that up. I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Now I'm going to be installing these brand new bushings. These are uh, Ford original bushings. You can pick these up at ultrafox.com. Uh, sold by the pair, which is what you need to do this. And uh, so we're going to start by putting the first bushing on this shaft, just like that. The second bushing, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, pop it in here, like so. Then I'm going to slide this through here and through the second bushing. Make sure you have this turned up where it is to be. Slide it through the second bushing. Because it's pretty snug. So if you put the shaft in there first and then try to put this bushing on, it's going to be really tough. So you want to hold the bushing in while you work the shaft through there all the way in, just like that. And it's done. Now assembly is going to be the exact opposite of the way you took things apart. So we will start by putting the nut on the other side on the brake pedal. So this brake pedal can go, it's got a square hole here, so it can only go one of, of four ways. So you just want to put it on there looks right because if it's not here it's going to be way up here or way back there so you can really only put it on one way so you can go ahead and put your nut on i would put uh use some loctite on here because you do not want this coming loose brake pedals or a clutch pedal is pretty important i'm sorry i called this a brake pedal earlier Clutch pedal, obviously. So you your Loctite on there, and then just tighten this all the way down. There we go. Done. All right, let's, uh, let's go and put on this switch while we're on this side. Uh, remember, this is the uh, neutral safety switch. I like to start the car when the clutch is pushed all the way in. So basically you just put thread rod through this hole and this uh, piece here through this hole at the same time. Just like that. Now it goes on the threaded piece there. And goes in this piece. Remember if you're doing this outside the car, uh, if you remove your pedal assembly, when you put these pins in, be sure and put them uh, from the bottom up uh, whenever you can. That way, when it's back installed in the car, you'll be able to reach under it, grab both needle nose, and pull it straight down versus trying to get it off the top. Alright, so that switch is done. Now let's move back to the other side. Here, got a rudder switch. 
This is the one that disengages the cruise control when you press the clutch. It's got a couple pieces here. Uh, it's got a little clip that goes in the back of this bracket from the inside. Uh, and it's got a hole where this little nub goes through, a little nib. And then it's got a threaded hole where your screw goes through up here at the top. So it goes just like that. So you'll see there's slotted holes here and that allows an adjustment of the switch. So let's go and get this into place. I have to push up this uh, the clutch uh, bar there just to get this switch into place. And you want to get the screw in. Tighten it yet. You want to wait until you get your clutch quadrant on before you tighten it all the way. So you still got a little bit of movement there. It's fine. So let's get our quadrant on. This two holes. Uh, actually, there's a spacer somewhere. Found it. This uh, Steeda quadrant and probably most other aftermarket uh, has a little spacer that goes on here to hold this uh, in the right place. So that spacer just goes on there like that. This goes on no bushings here. This is a, a pretty snug fit on this side. And uh, this other side just moves, actually both of them move with the bar. There's really not, it's really not pivoting on the bar. The bar itself is pivoting. So there's no motion inside the bracket. So there's no bushings on either, uh, either end. But there is a plastic sleeve, plastic uh, washer that goes on the outside of this, and that keeps your pen from uh, making uh, noise against the uh, quadrant there. There's that. Let's put this one on here. Look these you see come up from the bottom. Now let's go ahead and adjust the switch. Well, let's go and get our clutch cable installed first. So install the clutch cable. And that's going to hold this snug here. All right, so now we can make our final adjustment here. Uh, if there's too much movement here, you see that this is further down. It could uh, uh, disengage your cruise control um, without you even pushing the clutch pedal. So I like to uh, close this gap a little bit uh, right here. Let me pull this pin out so you can see a little bit better. And to close this gap here a little bit more, just slide this switch up a little bit. And then you're going to tighten uh, the screw. Perfect. Pin back in. And we are done. clutch cable, our clutch works perfectly, our brake works, and this is done. Replaced our bushings, cleaned that up, so uh, that is good. That's it for today. Uh, go ahead and hit the uh, like button and subscribe. Uh, coming up next, I will be replacing this brake switch, and I'll show in, uh, in great detail how to replace this. Much better than you've seen in any other videos. So um, stay tuned for that. Remember you can get these bushings, Ultra Fox, now these original Ford bushings that I have, the brand new ones, uh, don't know if they make them anymore, so I've got a few left, and uh, after that I'll be switching to an aftermarket bushing, I'm sure the quantity is the same, um, but I've got a link for these down below, uh, they're not expensive at all, and uh, that's it, I appreciate you watching, hit the like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you.